First things first, let's create your driver. Let's focus on your driver's look. Sense it! Woo! Okay, boss. Let's get this team up and running. First, enter a team name. Let's choose our primary. Sponsor for this season. Some sponsors offer a larger signing bonus up front. Some offer more weekly income. Our chassis won't be going in. Obviously, the greater the performance and durability, the better. Be careful about spending all our cash. We are going to have people and facilities to invest in as well. Power unit suppliers will also provide upgrades throughout the season, free of charge. We're not much of a team without a second driver. Here are the drivers interested in joining our team. Look at their stats and pick someone you think can get us good results. As long as we can afford them. Looks like we can afford this power unit supplier and teammate. Go ahead and confirm if you have. Let's create the livery we'll be running this season. We can add more sponsors to the car as we sign them throughout the year. And don't worry, we can edit our look at any time from HQ.
last but not least, we need to consider our brand, our badge, and team colors. Great, that's everything we need. You can go back and edit anything we've done so far. Hello folks and welcome to this, a very special edition of Paddock Pass. As you can see, there's no pit lane behind me and as you can hear, no roar of engines and that's because they've set me free from the F1 paddock to escape here to the countryside and to the headquarters of Formula One's newest team. Now it's not every day, pull back the curtain and the scenes at an F1 team, rarer still that we get to talk not only to the team owner, but also the team's lead driver. But what makes this place extra special is that the owner and lead driver are one person. It's been an interesting 12 months, and we all know a number of the regulation changes which were due to come into effect this year have been delayed until next. Some, though, are still seeing the light of day. Amongst them, the all-important budget cap, which gives some of the smaller teams, a little further down the order, potentially, the opportunity to compete with the bigger teams. Good for them, but great for us as viewers. But what does our new team owner think about these new rules? Do they see them as a challenge, a hurdle to be overcome? Perhaps they see them as an opportunity to disrupt the status quo, a chance to come out swinging and to carve their name into Formula One history. Well, I had the opportunity to ask them these very questions just earlier today. And here's what they had to say. Well, first of all, thanks so much for inviting us here today. It's been wonderful to see behind the scenes. Uh, as you might expect, I've got about a million questions, so let's jump straight in. It's been a long time since we last saw a team owner take their own car onto the track, and the sport's changed enormously in the intervening years. How we... Let's talk about your teammate. Now, it's clear they're excited to have signed with you, but tell... So you've obviously been putting a lot of work into the car. I know it's early. Most of the other teams can boast years of experience in Formula One. Ultimately, your success this season is going to come down to whether you can. T and finally, with so many specialist departments working together here at your headquarters, and with such an important deadline coming up, who's getting that coveted teacher's gold star? Which group? Do Well, thank you so much for your time. It's uh, been wonderful to get an insight from you and, of course, to see around the headquarters. Thank you for today. Really appreciate it. And thank you all at home for watching as well. We'll see you very soon.